Note series, Samsung's best of the best of technology crammed into this little device. It's been a hit mostly and one of the most anticipated phone every serious buyer looks for. So with Note 10 and Note 10 Plus being launched on August 8th and probably will be able to get hands on with the, like on August 23rd if you pre-order it right now. It is interesting to see how its predecessor can be of good investment right now considering a lower price than the new one. I have had this Note 9 for a year now and here's my review of it and should you still buy this right now. Since this has been my daily driver, the build quality has been holding really well. So there is not really much complaint about there. I have the case on most of the times. It's the transparent silicon case that comes with the box. Nothing fancy here. And actually it has fallen quite a number of times as well from my pocket as well as hands. Uh, but the case I guess has prevented it from any damage. So there is absolutely no damage whatsoever touch wood so essentially the phone looks just as new regarding the display here again Samsung throws in their best display they have got the display is brilliant however it is slightly turning yellowish or on the warmer temperature color which is typical with super AMOLED displays that's one thing you need to keep in mind no matter what display you are buying when it has a AMOLED display in it expect some warmish color shift and screen burning after using it for a year or so Thankfully again there is no screen burning issue here yet on this Note 9, just slight color shift I would say. So an excellent eye pleasing display is what I can call at the end of the day. This is an Exynos variant that I have got here. The last Note I owned was a Snapdragon variant but honestly there isn't much noticeable difference with the Exynos. Especially with the new Samsung's one user interface, the multitasking as well as general performance has been consistently smooth and fast enough. The new Note 10 or Note 10 Plus with newer chipset and faster processor, uh, I don't think it will be significantly faster than this Note 9 just because the one UI can handle Note 9 very well and keep things less stuttering. So I have not had any issues with the performance and that's impressive and speaks a lot about the new user interface that's the one UI uh, how it handles the memory as well as tasks. So kudos to the Samsung for doing that. The Bixby button with new UI update can be again tweaked further to perform any task and that's a huge benefit of having that particular button. Um, for example, I have kept it to open the Chrome browser. So with single press of Bixby button, I can instantly start looking for information on the Chrome browser. So again, that's a major plus point for me. Uh, double press to access Bixby as usual. So the functionality here I would say is improved. Another key aspect of Note 9 is its camera, right? So the megapixel count might be a bit low compared to the other devices, but again it holds its own with excellent quality images which are sharp with enough detail and doesn't over sharpen like its competitors do. Low light image quality is excellent with controlled noise and since there is a variable aperture camera at f1.5, just incredible I will say at f1.5. Uh, there isn't a competition to that even after a year I think. So add to that 2x optical zoom and a telephoto lens. Now your creativity can go a long way and impress you with different perspectives when you click pictures or shoot videos on this Note 9. In fact, my outdoor camera settings videos were shot on Note 9 most of the times if you browse through my channel and watch the other videos. The only negative is that sometimes while recovering the highlights, there is a weird marks or kind of watermark that appears on certain images. So while editing, if you bring down the highlight, you'll get to see that uh, sort of diagonal watermark. I don't know what it is. I have tried to actually zoom in and look at the watermark and I've also posted it on the forum and also seen a couple of people post the same thing there. But I don't think the f issue has been fixed with the update. Uh, it's uh, still there not visible at all the times but again while you are editing it is visible. So that's the negative thing that I found with the camera sometimes. So let me know in the comments if your Note 9 has that issue as well. Next let's talk about the battery. Now for me it's a mixed bag, uh, depends totally on the apps that's running in the background again with Android. So. I have a video showing how to tweak the settings to get more battery backup as well as boost its performance. Check the description or click on the iCard somewhere over here to watch that video. 
The fast charger that it comes with is of only 9 volts or 1.67 amperes, again which is a just 15 watts charger. If you buy a 25 watt charger, it can charge uh, really, really fast. For typical usage, it generally does last for a day for me, uh, but uh, have to charge it at night for another day of usage. When I use it more than like typical hours, it lasts for uh, like 8 hours, which is a little bit disappointing because again, while uh, evening time, I have to charge it for like 15 to 30 minutes to get it going for the rest of the night. Especially after nearly a year, the battery consumption is deteriorating to say the least. The new Note 10 won't have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is again disappointing. Although others have already ditched it and moved on, uh, but still it was there with the Note 9. That's the plus point you'll get because pretty much any headphone you can just connect and you are good to go for listening experience. The S Pen, yes, again with the Note 9, you get the S Pen with the button, uh, which can be remapped is again the USB of this Note 9 and has not let down even once for me. I use it almost daily for note taking, screenshot writing or even smart select sometimes and it makes me so happy and satisfying that if I am uh, using any other device, I really, really miss this S Pen. So that's how addicted you get to uh, use when you have that S Pen. So the S Pen really makes your life so easy. It just is an extraordinary masterpiece that makes all the workflow so much easier. Hit that like button if you think so. This is the reason why I actually switched from OnePlus to Note series again. Uh, so it will be interesting to see what the new Note 10's S Pen brings to the table. At the end of the day, it may feel like I have talked a lot of positives about the Note 9 here. Uh, but that's how it is if you own a Note series. I have been using the Note series for as long as uh, the generations have come, like starting with the Samsung's S Jet. I think that's what the first device with the uh, pen uh, it came with. So starting from there, I used other Note series as well. So this is the ninth generation, of course, 10 years of Note series. So it just impresses you so much that you forget its negatives, which anyways are not major either. So if you are after to buy Note 9, don't hesitate to invest your money, I will say. You may be getting it for much lower price now, especially since the Note 10 is nearing its launch. So I don't see a significant improvement with the Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. That's worth extra penny. I think they'll be costing around 1200 to $1,400, not sure yet, but you never know until it's launched. Still, the Note 9 will be a smart purchase for lesser price. Uh, so let me know in the comments, would you be buying a Note 9 or the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus? Or share your experience with the Note series phones. So hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this uh, little Note 9 review. Basically, my thoughts about how this has been uh, to me. So hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. All right, guys. See you all in another one. Till then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.